Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to show you the uh, iOS application that I've been working on for about four months. Uh, it's reasonably polished but not yet bug free. There's a few things to clean up. But it's an RFC compliant FTP server uh, built from the ground up. Um, no code was used from, uh, from any other uh, open source project. This is uh, done entirely from scratch. Um, I wanted to show you what it uh, what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to double click it, and it should start up momentarily. There it is. So this is the opening screen. It uh, has a number of status LEDs. It shows whether a user is connected, if it's receiving a file, or if the file is being sent, or if there's a file listing, and then uh, statistics about the documents that exist on the FTP server. This particular um, uh, LED shows whether or not the uh, FTP server is active. At the bottom there's a couple of tabs that you have. Um, you can browse the documents that exist within this application uh, that you've uploaded uh, and you can actually look at it as well. Uh, currently it only shows pictures. Uh, I intend to add movies and other uh, file types that it recognizes. Um, I will show you the uh, the settings. There's a number of options that you have within the software. You can specify the service port, and because this is in uh, a uh, production um, uh, version of IS that's intended for the uh, App Store, um, we cannot do anything less than port 1023, uh, or actually 1024. So the port that I've specified in this uh, demo is 2100. Um, it has the option to allow both passive and active transfers. Obviously passive transfers is something you would want in case uh, this device is behind a, uh, a firewall or router and uh, you want to be able to uh, connect to it from the internet. Um, so you'll need to be able to specify passive transfers uh, otherwise it likely won't work. Um, again, you need to specify ports again above 1023. Permissions, you can specify the permissions that are allowed once a user connects, whether or not they can create directories or delete directories. Um, that also means uh, rename directories if you have delete uh, permission, uh, or sorry, create permission, then you also have rename uh, permission. Um, upload files, whether or not you can delete files, uh, whether you can retrieve files, or whether or not you can rename files. And obviously whether or not a file listing is available. Um, you can turn this off, but a number of clients do not um, like it when you uh, uh, disable this because uh, the first thing they try to do is get a directory listing and they'll fail when they don't. So, But you can create a, a repository that only allows you to, to send files and not see what's there. Um, but it's recommended that that be turned on for uh, greatest client compatibility. The security settings, you can turn the password on. Uh, if you turn it off, then it's just an anonymous FTP and just a standard uh, username FTP will work. Local clients only, that is a settings where you can specify that only connections from your local network are allowed. Uh, if you disable this, then connections uh, from other networks or even the internet is uh, possible. Um, obviously recommend that you turn this to local clients only, that way you uh, limit any attacks on your iPhone from within your local network. And of course if you're at home that's not that big of a deal. If you're at a you know coffee shop, you know, that's at least restricted. Advanced settings. Uh, here you can specify the uh, the idle timeout, so how long the client can remain idle connected to the server not doing anything before it gets booted off. And you can also specify the bandwidth. Uh, it's in uh, kilobytes per second. So maximum just means it goes as fast as it can. Anything less than that, it throttles to that uh, speed. And whether or not this service should be published in Bonjour, which means that if you have Bonjour Aware applications like Safari, you can immediately navigate or connect to the server from there. And of course, it has you know, detailed help about what everything is and where it's located and how to use it. And of course, nothing is complete without um, an appropriate uh, about box. I'm going to show you uh, how it actually works now. Uh, I'm going to go back to the home screen. I'm going to uh, turn it on. It's going to take a moment to fire up. Okay, you got a green LED. We're ready to go. I can swipe this over and it'll actually show me the, uh, the URLs that are available to connect to this particular unit. And these different IPs are just um, based on whether or not you're using 
3G data that's active at that point, whether your Wi-Fi is associated, etc. So this, uh, this can change depending on what network you're connected to. And then if I swipe one more, these are the log entries. So I'm going to try and connect based on the uh, IP address here. So I'm going to go FTP 192.168.0.168 port 2100. And I'm going to say FTP and I'm logged in. So if I actually scroll over here, you'll see that there's a user connected. And if I do a file listing, there it is. The little green light just went on there. I'll do it again. There it goes. So you can see what's happening. Um, I can turn the passive transfers off actually and show you that it supports uh, both uh, passive and active. So right now passive mode is off. So I'm going to do a DIR and we're still good. I'm going to turn it back on. Okay, so we're going to do a uh, download of one of these files. So I'm going to do a get p1517080.jpg. jpeg and there she goes download it as you can see it does it quite fast although this is obviously a uh, virtual connection so it's a little faster but i should be able to turn on the, uh, the advanced settings and reduce the bandwidth to let's say um, 750k and uh, let's see that work we'll try this same file again uh, the file is quite small so it's probably not going to give me a very accurate number not bad, 781k. So if this was a larger file, it would have been closer to the 750. It, it uses a um, PID controller to uh, manage the bandwidth. Uh, so I downloaded that, and uh, I should just check to see if it actually exists on my directory now, local. And there it is right there. So now what we can also do is create a directory. Right at the moment, there are zero directories in my... Uh, folder so I'm going to try and make their test and there she goes one directory now if I go in here I should be able to see that there's a folder there and I should be able to navigate in it again there's no files in there but I should be able to put that one back in that I just downloaded and of course it's going to do that at the same speed again this time it's a little faster but and it's supposed to show me this it looks like that's one of the bugs that doesn't refresh the directory or I didn't actually navigate to the directory. Let me have a look here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let me try that again. P517080.jpg. There we go. There's a throttle file. <laughs> anyway, so that's the file that I just uploaded, and there she is. So that's what I wanted to show you. Um, we're going to do a bit more debugging and polishing before we push this to the App Store. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching.